Hey everyone, a subscriber came to me this morning and said, you do not have a video of your switch panel wiring and wiring to the battery. You have one for the lights and you got one for the bilge pump, but you don't have anything on the back of the switch panel. So right now I'm gonna take a sh quick short video. I'm gonna take the switch panel off, show you the wiring. It's a little hard to see, but I'll explain it as best as I can. Um, so show you all the connections there. I'll reassemble it and show you the finished product and show you the connections I made to the battery and uh, anything else that I did that was different. Hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for future videos. Okay, so here's the back of the panel. It kind of looks like a mess. Um, but what we have is the power wires from everything. So from the lights, from the bilge pump, um, now every set of lights will have its own wire because we have four switches. They supply these little plugs with the rocker switch. Um, so basically all the power from each component, you just put one of these on, crimp it. Um, mine are all shrink fitting so they come tight to the wires. And then basically on the back of the rocker panel on every switch there's an open connection. So on all the positives you plug these in. All the negatives on every switch are tied together because on this switch there is two master power and one negative um, and it ties them all together. So at the end of the day off this panel there will be one negative and one positive. So you take those one negative, one positive and those are the two that you run to the battery. That way everything has power but it doesn't give power to each component until you flick the switch. Once you flick the switch, then the lights will turn on or the pump will turn on. Um, it's basically that easy. Here's your two fuses. Um, you can put this blue wire here. Uh, these lights, you can have a light on uh, when it's off. So that way you can see where your panel is. Um, I don't need that because I got one battery and it would just kill the battery. So I just uh, plug that. Uh, other than that, yeah plug and play um, and then you got yeah your two wires all your all my grounds are connected uh, they're all connected to the same spot um, once you're done all that I tuck it all in the seat I kind of shaved out some styrofoam in here and cut a square the wiring all comes up from underneath the seat I push this back in and then make the connection to the battery it's really that easy so I'm just gonna reassemble it and uh, that's it if you have any questions make sure you let me know in the comments okay so now we got the panel back together silicone around the sides and the top we left the bottom just in case water does get in it's got somewhere to go out um, you can see the negative and positive from the panel positive we put a fuse on uh, the panel did come with fuses but I just left this and then we also have our electric start wires from our motor so this is the negative and positive um, and underneath there, there's a lock washer on either side. That way you never have to take it off. Even if you're taking the battery off, you take your wires off and you leave the lock washer on there. Um, just makes it easy if wires never come off. Uh, we also have a strap, which is strapped to our floor. Uh, you can see it down below here. Make sure to check out my other video on my floor, which is coming out tomorrow. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about that, but that's all strapped to the floor. And then we have a block on this side and a block over here and that holds it from shifting left to right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will catch you on the next video. Have a great day.